Hey, good day, friends. It's Lance Klessig on a truly awesome December day. Awesome for two reasons. Two. <laughs> it is 52 degrees on December 10th, which is awesome. And we are in a awesome cover crop field. Check it out. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. So I want to talk a little bit today about capturing, okay? Uh, so hang with me as we talk about that. Um, yeah, we are going to talk about capturing solar energy and why cover crops do such a great job of that. But there's also so many other opportunities to be capturing out here, okay? So we are on a farm. Uh, several hundred acres of cover crops have been planted on this farm this year. The, the farms that actually you can see right here behind me, uh, they are custom heifer growers, okay? So there's an opportunity to capture right away, right? We, we don't have to just raise corn, soybeans, and hay. We now, um, and that's what this field is going to go to, uh, we can grow all those crops, and then we can also grow another feed source, rileage. So there's an opportunity there, right? There's an opportunity to also then be applying our uh, manure and our urine um, onto a live cover crop. And that this plant, these plants will do a really good job of, of grabbing those nutrients, holding onto them, making them available to the next year's crop. So, you know, we take this off for rileage uh, and then possibly could come back here and, and no-till plant soybeans into it, maybe a, a late corn for silage. Uh, sweet corn, those are all options that these guys have, have uh, you know, done before in the past. And so, um, so let's talk a little bit more about some of the options to opportunities to capture. Okay, so um, show you these plants here quick. So we here we have again, it's it's cereal rye planted around 100 pounds of the acre, um, and these plants are are doing a really good job. And so. Um, if you can come see over here. So I walked across, so there's a hay field here, a waterway here, and then the, the cover crop field that I'm in now. And um, when I walked across over here to get to this, this cover crop field, um, that hay field over there, it's been cool, um, but I noticed right away, it was much, it was very hard. The frost was right there at the surface, right? And I thought, okay, I noticed that. Walked across the waterway, is uh, softer, spongier got here to the cover crop field and again that same soft field so the frost was not present right away so I thought okay well why why might that be and so I got out my shovel here's the shovel <laughs> started digging right and so here in the cover crop field we had about an inch of soil that was not frozen uh, not froze and then about two inches of frost and then below that was was un, un, non-frozen soil but over here Let's see if I can get my bearings right. Um, on this hay field, frost. I dug four inches of frost. Well, that might not be a big deal, but when you think about that, why why is that going on, right? Well, these plants, not only there are they alive, we have live roots, uh, but they're also as, acting as armor, as insulation. And so, they're doing several good things. So these plants are, you know, they're uh, capturing solar energy that's that's free from the sun, by the way. It is free. Uh, they are processing CO2 through, through photosynthesis. Then they are leaking uh, sugars. Those roots are leaking sugars into the soil profile, making it available uh, to the, the soil microorganisms, the underground herd as we call them. These, these roots are, um, it's probably hard to see it, because this is all turning muddy now, but a lot of live roots there. Uh, you know, they are pumping carbon into the into the soil as well, which is which is a big plus, uh, as we want to take care of our soils and uh, deal with a lot of the carbon that's um, in the atmosphere. Um, and so, those are those are great things. These live roots are also um, conditioning the soil, right? So they are. Uh, it was digging before the frost it was here a couple weeks ago, and we had live roots that were down two to three feet already, which is awesome. They are conditioning the soil. They're breaking up hard pan. Um, they're making. They're going to be making nutrients, plant available nutrients, more available, uh, which is which is a big bonus. Um, and 
they're also creating some really nice planting conditions for this coming this coming uh, year. And so we could be planting, you know, no-till soybeans into this. We could, after the rylage comes off, we could be planting a late corn for silage, uh, sweet corn. Um, so those are a few of the op opportunities to be capturing, but we also could be, um, I think I might've mentioned the opportunity to be placing manure out here on, on a live cover crop. And so again, it, it really starts with, you can see there's the sun right behind me, um, about capturing solar energy, but then, um, you know, having the, the mindset to capture other other things as well and so this is going to be some pretty cheap feed and it's going to give this heifer grower some options uh, and so again kudos to them several hundred acres of cover crop in really enjoying it uh, really getting serious about the no-till all their soybeans are no-tilled uh, some of their corn is still a little bit of reduced tillage with a vt um, but again just wanted to give you an update from an awesome December 10th day, 52 degrees, uh, with some awesome, awesome cover crap. And I just want to end by saying thanks for joining us. If, if you like our videos, uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, you can hit the subscribe button uh, or, or share the video. Uh, and then lastly, you know how I end all my videos, choose to make it a great day.